This video is going to cover a walkout into a cobra. So we're taking a pretty decent full body core dominant exercise and combining it with a nice stretch for a little bit of flair. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with just the walkout first. What you want to do is stand up super tall and ideally you want your arms locked out the whole time to make it the most challenging. You're then just simply going to walk yourself out. So to start, you can either have bent legs or straight legs. Goals would be to have straight legs. It just depends on your flexibility. You'll place your palms on the ground, every finger as well, and then you're going to walk yourself out to, like I said, that push-up position. The more flexible you are, the easier this is going to be, and then it just takes that upper body strength to get yourself into that full push-up. And then you can push your hands into the ground to project your body backwards. If you're on a floor, I definitely recommend that you have bare feet as I'm wearing socks in some of these and it just makes it that much harder. Cool, so now that we've learned how to do the walkout, let's just add the cobra. And if you want to see the cobra exercise, you can check out the mobility video where I do that. So our abs contract when our torso goes forward or our spine bends forward. Or you can think of bringing your chest towards your knees or your pelvis and they stretch when we're in the opposite motion, just like I'm doing here, when our back is arched and our belly's pushed towards the ground. The hardest part of this exercise is probably making it look super graceful and the flipping of the toes that happens. So when you're at the bottom of the exercise in the cobra, you can either balance on your toes or your knees, but do make sure that your glutes are clenched. That's just gonna keep our lower back safe. If you wanna make this more difficult, you can either lessen the amount of steps that you're taking with your hands, or you can project yourself up in a different or more difficult way, such as two hands at the same time, or pushing yourself off the ground like this. So my last piece of advice would be, find the progression that works for you. Your goal is going to be to have straight legs and straight arms throughout most of the motion, if not all of it. If your flexibility isn't there, I would suggest working on your flexibility as well so that you can progress to make this more difficult for yourself. We can add push-ups into this, which I'll go through some program later on, but give it a shot and have fun. Thank you guys for watching this video till the end. If you found this helpful for either yourself or someone that you know, please leave a like or a comment. And if you want to be notified when I post new videos, definitely consider subscribing. Remember that practice makes progress.